Hey guys, this is Roadrunner. So we are at a park here in uh, downtown Algona, Iowa. We're, today is the 4th of August. We'll be leaving here morning of August 6th. Uh, from here we'll go to Brit, but that's not the point of this video. point is I want to show you guys a Hobo's EDC. EDC stands for Everyday Carry. And uh, <clears throat> basically it would be items of what I would consider a hobo to carry whether they're old school or new school or whatever uh, if you lost your pack and you had nothing to use other than your EDC then you'd be pretty good so uh, basically I'm just going to show you guys what I carry when I walk around town without my pack so first off is my Soviet 1980s Soviet Russian uniform uh, this has at least Six pockets, two up here, two on each side of the arm. You got one right here, and then you have one over here for a gun holster. This is basically where you would keep your uh, firearm. It would go right here. And this is actually where most of my stuff goes, is up here on my, uh, on my chest and on my arms. Uh, next, what I consider one of the most important is my bandana. This is always around my neck. Uh, I have been accused of it being something gang related, but you obviously know it's not. So uh, I always keep at least one bandana on me. And usually I have a second one, but right now I don't have the room to carry it. So that's, this is, I think, yeah, like I said, this is the most important in my opinion. Next off, we have... What I call toilet paper is basically tissue, but I've used this as toilet paper before and it actually works really good. Not the best out there, obviously, you know, people don't want to go over and scrape their ass in half, but basically this works really good. I mentioned before in a, in a previous video that I wanted to have a solar panel and I was in Emmitsburg when I did that. Well, lo and behold, after I did that video, or maybe I was in... I was in Pocahontas, whatever. Anyways, uh, when we got to Emmitsburg, I walked into the into the Casey's, and lo and behold, they had one solar panel left for twenty four ninety nine. So basically, you could charge two phones off this, and I did test it. I left my flip phone on it for an hour and a half, from dead to charge, and it charged it the whole way through, and still had half its battery life left. It also has a LED flash flashlight on the back of it really cool i like this one a lot um, <clears throat> earlier today i went to uh, big kmart and they had this basically the civil war set it actually combines into one but when you unhook these two right here it basically unlocks the whole thing where it's two so basically it's two in one next we got a little this is a cheaper multi-tool I mainly just have this because of the blade on it to go over and scrape on my ferrocenium rod to start up a fire. Uh, next to it is this is a chainsaw chain with the blades on it still and I use this to cut up wood if I need to. Next is a bunch of scrap uh, scrap rope and paratender. There's actually, this is paracord but it has paratender in it, stupid flies. And uh, I, I actually, I, I really think this is pretty cool. You know, one, one, one strike of a spark will actually work to get this going. Just some generic ibuprofen. I'm actually going to need to take that soon. Uh, this right here, I actually know how to sew. I really, I believe it or not, I actually like sewing. So Dollar General sews an assorted of 45 uh, different... Uh, sewing needles and you can get these for about a dollar maybe dollar fifty depending on where you're at next important item this right here if y'all remember I, I did that video recently about the tent when we were in Anawa and this is the bag it came with and I actually walked around with this bag full of stuff and it actually works really well not only can I leave it on my shoulder or around my arm but it can also go around my chest which is really good so this is actually carried in my back left pocket of my jeans. That's where it's carried at. 
Next, we have five yards of duct tape. Got this from Casey's for about $2.99. This right here is an Altoids tin, duh, with char cloth. I basically call this a tinder box, which was the old school term for the cowboys back in the 1800s and early 1900s. And basically, they would try to keep their tinder box full of tinder and char cloth material to go over and be able to use it as a fire. Uh, basically, I would only use this as a last resort. That's the only time I would ever use this. This would have to be the last thing ever. Uh, harmonica, self-explanatory. This right here is a matchbox, but it also has a compass and fishing line and fishing hooks inside of it. This right here is an Autoids tin with uh, different survival items, fire starting cubes, another compass, uh, some more stuff in there. Plenty of matches, match matchbooks, Sparkies and Casey's and stuff like that. Uh, I carry carabiners and S-beaners because of the dogs. Uh, when they break a carabiner, I gotta, because that's what the dog's leash is actually hooked up to. So I could put the dog's leashes on this one and then put the more put the <clears throat> put the leashes around a pole and put the leash the other parts of the leash through this basically extra charging cable my headlamp this is a better multi-tool this one i've actually used a few times and it works you can get that at walmart for about 10.99 this obviously is a marker i don't usually write signs but if i do it usually is a sign on the back of my pack that says traveling hobo and dogs looking for work and it generally makes us money and people put us to work afterwards this was given to me as a gift by the people i worked for on a farm out in new mexico uh you what it is is uh you fill it up you fill it up through the here with like i think lighter fluid or something like that and there's a rod with a ferrocium at the end of it and the ferrocium is strict right here on uh, or actually no so the rod inside of here is a uh, steel and it's struck striked on this ferrocium rod right here on the edge and the rod inside is dipped with the uh, lighter fluid or whatever it is and so when you strike sparks on the uh, ferrocium rod with the rod inside of here it makes a fire on the rod inside three extra uh, lighters this is a pocket knife I found on a bench over in Santa Fe New Mexico and then extra charging so that's basically my EDC uh, the only thing I'm saying I would say that I'm missing is maybe if I found or got another uh, what was it oh yeah if I got another like uh, water purification, those little mini sawyers, and put it in one of my arms, if I had the money to do it, I would. But I'm trying to get uh, something on eBay right now, so I'm kind of busy with that. Uh, other than that, that's what I would call a hobo's EDC. So I hope you guys like the video, and like, subscribe, share the video, and tell me what you think.